Hi everybody, it's Agnes and I've got a viewer's question today from Randy. Randy says, I was wondering if you could do a video example of Abraham Hicks's reaching for the better thought. I often find myself thinking I miss my specific person and understanding that this is not a helpful thought as it focuses on lack. However, I find it hard to think of other thoughts that feel better and shift my focus off of lack. I was hoping you'd give some examples of thoughts and phrases I could say, reaching for the better thought, when or I or others find themselves in this icky mindset. Okay, so your thought is, I miss my specific person. Say to yourself, wouldn't it be nice if we ran into each other? Wouldn't it be nice if we connected somehow? It's happened before, can happen again. Wouldn't it be nice if I could have a text from them today? Wouldn't it be nice if I could get some news from them today? Wouldn't it be nice if out of the blue we just connected? Now I know better, I can do better. So you can do that kind of just little thoughts, Randy, that could help. So you're saying also continuing on on your email, for example, sometimes my mind wanders to isn't this, this isn't going to work, we broke up for a reason. And then I think people break up and then get back together all the time and live happily ever after. Look at Prince William and Kate Middleton. If they can, I can too. Exactly. And this always makes me feel better. And that's a good indicator that that's a good thought for you. Okay. So it is literally finding something and you could also do when you're thinking to yourself, I miss my specific person, say to yourself, well, what if I spent this time remembering some good memories? And you literally go through and you reactivate or reinfect yourself, as Neville says, with something positive. So you can say, remember the time that we went there. Remember the time that we did this. Remember the time that we went to that restaurant and ate. Remember that time we went to that movie and we laughed our heads off. Remember that time we were laying in bed and it was all cozy and warm and we were just talking in the morning. Wasn't it nice to just wake up like that and neither one of us had to go to work? So you can use memories as well to reactivate and collapse space and time between you and them, as they say. I'll put the collapsing space and time YouTube in the description for you to have a look at. And also, I remember when. That's always a good one. And the you can practice the ahead and time technique. So you actually launch yourself into a scene or it, you can do it in conversation, it doesn't have to be visual, it can be audio, hearing something. I remember when we weren't together. I remember when we were still separated and they weren't in my life. I remember when we didn't lay in bed together for a period of time, when we weren't in each other's lives. So you're doing it from... I remember when, which presupposes that you are together now, okay? So that puts you into having mode and it just slowly moves you away from problem mode, okay? So this little bud won't stay in my ear today. I think my ears are a wrong shape. So Randy, thank you for your question. Hope that helps. And I think it's great that you're listening to Abraham Hicks. I think there's lots of great information there. And yeah, her little technique of reaching for a better thought to shift your focus off lack is a good technique. So lots of love, Randy. Ciao, ciao.